Okay, so this is Things You Need to Know Thursday, and every Thursday, as usual, I have an important video called Things You Need to Know Thursday, right? And our topic today, we're going to be talking about reparations, right? And we're going to mix it up a little bit. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to Shavor and Ras TV. Turn your post notification bell on so each time I uploaded a video like this, you get it right there on your phone, okay? So, when we say reparations, it's like, do, do African people really deserve it? Do black people actually deserve reparation? And if we do get reparation, what, what would it be like? What would we do? Would we just give it right back? Or we will spend it in the right way? Or we will manage that money? in our own benefit so it benefits us and our children and our children's children. What would it be if we actually get reparations? Okay, so it's a lot of confusing things, right? First thing I would say is if we should get reparations, we will give it we will give it all right back. That's what I think, right? We will give it right back. We're going to buy houses. We're going to, ride. We're going to buy cars. We're going to buy clothes. We're going to buy shoes. We're going to buy phones. We're going to buy everything, right? That's not necessary. And who, who are we spending those money back to? It's not us. We're not spending it on ourselves because we don't own none of these stuff that we're buying. So basically, we're giving it right back, okay? So this is how I see it. And... One more thing again, if we should get reparations, all these people who refusing to be black, refusing to claim Africa, refusing to say they are black, they want to, especially these mulattas, these mixed race people who they actually have a black dad and like a white mom, but everybody choose to be white, no one want to choose to be black. These people who call themselves Latinos, like, all these people who know, know they're not black. But these Latino people, i tell you this. If, let's say, the president of America, or America decided to give reparations to black people, these same Latino people would be the first people in line claiming that they're black. When they hear about money, they would be the first people in line. China say they're black. They were even ready to do their DNA test. They, no, everyone want to be black if we should get reparations. These people that call themselves the LGBTQ community, they would forget all about that. They would be all up in our business, throwing up all their flags. They would be there, ready to collect that money. But when it comes to fighting or to stand up or represent for black people, you don't see none of these people. You will never see none of these people. Okay? So, if we should get reparations as African people for what we've been through, it would be, uh, it would have to be precise and it would have to be in people's hands that are responsible. Okay? And who are awakened. It can't be just any anyone, anyone who just suffering and just running around thinking, okay, we deserve it, okay? And it can't be for some people who they are not black and they'll never claim black until it comes to this time. That would be, uh, I would say, a big disappointment on us, okay? That would be, it would be so much disaster on earth, right? And I think within two or three years, we will be right back where we started if we should get it right now because we are not united we are not together we don't we don't we are not organized okay we did not prepare for this kind of stuff so we don't have any structure to construct this money to make sure it flow well in the right line that it's supposed to go in to benefit us and our and 10 20 generation after us okay we have nothing like that in, in, in line. So that would be a big, big problem if we should get it right now. Right? I mean, we have a lot of brothers and sisters that is, that is waking. And if we got it, 
we will know that we got to look to Africa, okay? And we know that we have to build Africa and we have to go back and construct a lot of business in Africa, okay? And a lot of us who is not awakened, they don't want to hear nothing about Africa, okay? Because they let a European guy or a European woman tell them about where they're from. They don't try to find it out for themselves. So this is why they have that concept about Africa, okay? It's so much illusion going on about this place that we need to go and we need to re revisit so we could reconnect ourselves with that land. So we could reconnect ourselves to the peoples in that land. Okay? So if we get reparation, then we will know that that's the place we need to, we need to keep our focus on. Okay? This is something that... Alright, I'll tell you one more story. I'll tell you one more example. In the in the Holocaust, in the Jewish Holocaust, okay, I even make a video about this a couple of months ago, last year. In the Jewish Holocaust, right, they they lost 6,000 people, right? 6,000 people lost their life. And you know what? The Jewish say to their people, never forget about it. And up to this day, they are getting reparations for those 6,000 people, for those 6,000 Jews that lost their life. So let's go on now. King Leopold II of Belgium, right? This is the African Holocaust now. We lost, okay, 15 million life in that Holocaust. Not to mention those who that was amputated. Those that lost a hand. A years and leg not to mention those that holocaust right we lost 15,000 African life and you know what they say you know what they say about that holocaust forget about it well why, why, why we talk so much about slavery well why, why, why we can't move on okay this is what happened to us and we as African are who are melanated we tend to forget about everything what happened to us in our history. We never, we don't want to remember nothing, okay? And we don't want to research nothing. But the Jewish people, because they never forget their past or their history, they get reparations up to this day. You could go ahead and check it. But we, everyone want to throw us, everyone to throw our history, our thing beneath the rugs, right? We should just get over it so this was things we need to know Thursday okay I want you to share this video like this video ah uh, you you always watch this video why you don't hit like hit like okay go ahead and hit like but before I go I'm gonna make one last point it's not gonna be long okay if a tree don't know its roots or if a tree does not have any roots, it won't grow. So you need to check yourself and start doing your research. Start doing your, your deep, deep research about your history. Try to get spiritual awakened. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification bell on. So each time uploaded or visualize this, you get it right there in your phone. I'll see you in the next video.